We all lose our cool sometimes, let's be honest. Come on, you can't lie. But today in this video, we're gonna go over the top seven times celebrities lost their cool. Let's get into the video. Number seven, Alec Baldwin assaulted a photographer. To put it lightly, Alec Baldwin has an illustrious relationship with the paparazzi. He's yelled at them, he's threatened them, he's berated them, but the most notorious example is from 2013 when Baldwin pinned photographer Paula Deo against a car. For context, Baldwin's wife had just given birth and he was having none of it. Among the list of other folks Baldwin is having none of are, President. I'm really excited to get married this week, I guess. Any idea what the big clerk's gonna happen in? What? What's your problem? Right, right, I know you got wig. Wait, wait, right? oh, wait. Wait. Cool. Yeah, just, just leave him alone, right? He's gonna go. Number six, Alec Baldwin left a mean voicemail for his daughter. Oh man, it's Alec Baldwin time. Second time in a row, the voicemail he left for his daughter. During a custody battle with Kim Bassinger over their daughter, Ireland Baldwin, the 30 Rock and Boss Baby star left a rude voicemail for the daughter, calling her a rude, thoughtless pig, and far worse. Forgetting her age, saying, I don't care if you're 12 years old, 11 years old, don't be like Baldwin. Be a cool, fun dad instead. I don't give a damn that you're 12 years old or 11 years old, or that you're a child, or that your mother is a thoughtless pain in the ass who doesn't care me for the last time. You have insulted me. You don't have the brains or the decency as a human being today just to straight you out on this issue. I'm going to let you know just how disappointed in you I am and how angry. Number five, David O. Russell lost it on Lily Tomlin. On the set for I Heart Huckabees, director David O. Russell absolutely lost it on star Lily Tomlin, hurling a plethora of curse words at her when she couldn't get into the line exactly right. The scene is shot in an office, O. Russell can be seen storming onto set and hurling all the papers on the desk onto the floor. According to Tomlin, the two made up mere hours later. Number 4, Christian Bale cursed out his crew. During filming for Terminator Salvation, Christian Bale embarked on an expletive-laden rant at the director of photography. It's unclear what exactly the Batman Begins Dr. Gross so angry about. Seemingly something to do with lighting, but Bale unleashed on him for nearly 5 minutes. Perhaps the guy should learn the best method to keep calm when you totally want to lose it. Number 3, Russell Crowe assaulted a hotel clerk. Russell Crowe's temper is almost as famous as he is, but his worst transgression may have come during the filming for Cinderella Man. While staying at a hotel, he tried repeatedly to place a call back to his native Australia. The call never worked. In a rage, he stormed down to the front desk and hit the clerk in the face with a desk phone. Crowe was charged with felony assault. Number 2, Randy Quaid moved to Canada. Golden Globe nominated actor Randy Quaid of I'm Back fame dodged paying a hotel bill, moved to Canada, and started spouting theories of how there's a secret cult killing off celebrities like Heath Ledger and framing the deaths as accidents. Quaid was the only core cast member from the original Independence Day to not appear in last year's sequel. Number 1, Michael Bay huffed off stage. The Pain and Gain and the Island director Michael Bay was conscripted into giving a keynote speech at a Samsung event. Unfortunately, technology doesn't always work. The director could have learned from that from the roughly 1 million Transformers movies he's put out. And the teleprompter failed, he grew flustered and stormed off stage in a huff. One could suggest that Bay memorized the 30 ways to instantly distress yourself. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.